Good morning, my sweet, beautiful sunshines. Today, we're talking about five tips to get back on your fitness. I don't even work arms, I just, I have biceps though, so they're fun to flex. <laughs> These tips are from me, for me, honestly, but I feel that they could also help you. So I'm gonna share all around how we're gonna stay on track this summer, but still have our fun, kind of have our cake and eat it too, if you will. Overall, self-love, self-care being the primary objective, taking care of ourselves for the long haul, not just short-term satisfaction. You know the drill. This video is sponsored by Trainwell, which has been rebranded from Copilot, which I did a video on in December which I highly recommend watching if you haven't. Let's dive into our tips. Imagine I could edit something really cool there. <sighs> Not quite that good yet. Tip number one might be my number one, just overall, period. This tip made me who I am today, if I do say so myself. My first tip is accountability. Now, when I first started my Instagram fitness themed Instagram, it was 2012, 2011, 2012. And that's why I did it for accountability. Cause I was, if I post that I'm gonna do this competition or that I'm in the gym doing this, working towards a specific goal, then I am gonna post about it. And then if I don't follow through, through, it's embarrassing. That's one form of accountability. Another form of having a accountability buddy, someone to show up to the gym with you, someone to be like, hey, we're getting there, 10 a.m., be at the gym. You don't wanna let them down. At least I, the people pleaser, and I'm the biggest people pleaser of all time. I don't wanna let them down. I will be showing up to the gym when they say they're going to be there. Make a group chat, join a Discord or a Facebook group of like-minded people, find some buddies. Also, currently my favorite accountability is my coach Megan on the Trainwell app. She checks in with me every day. If I miss a workout, she is like, hey, what happened yesterday? What's going on? How we doing? I feel like she's always in my corner. She's never mean to me by any means. If I do miss something, I do appreciate that she's there. She checks in after every workout. We're always adjusting my weights, workouts, how often a week I'm doing everything, etc. So I find having a human person on the app responding to me, <laughs> keeping me accountable. And that is so, so very helpful. Strong-minded people can hold themselves accountable for things, but that's not my strongest point, personally. I work with Megan in the app. When you join the Trainwell app, you do get paired with a coach. I was lucky enough to be gifted the gift of Megan. I love my coach. But if you get matched with a coach and you decide you don't like them, you can switch your coach anytime, which is nice because sometimes you just don't always find the fit on the first one. You know what I'm saying? It's very nice being able to message her at any time. I can always pop a little message or a photo in the chat, let her know what's going on, how I'm feeling. If some exercise made my knees hurt or something, I can always let her know and she'll make adjustments or everything accordingly. She gives me a lot of feedback and she hypes me up. We love that. Tip number two, have a plan. Know what workouts you're doing before you do them. Wake up in the morning with an intention. You want to have your outfit set out the night before, whatever you gotta do to get your run in, to get your lift in, to go to your yoga class, whatever your goal may be, you need to know beforehand, plan it out, schedule it, and make sure that you follow through. And I find I am a thousand times more likely to follow through if I take tip one, accountability, and combine it with tip two, knowing what I'm doing before before I get there. I used to walk into the gym without a plan and I would just kind of dilly-dally, do a couple machines. I wouldn't get my heart rate up very much because I was just messing around. I just didn't have a very thorough plan. I wasn't getting a great workout. I wasn't getting sore consistently. That can stall your progress a lot. But if you have a plan, when I book a yoga class, I book it a day or two in advance. I'm like, I know Wednesday at 10.30, I'm going to yoga. I know that I'm gonna get a run in on Thursday. All in all, knowing your workout or having a plan and an intention before and when you go in, you know you're getting it done. You know that's what to do. In the Trainwell app, what's great is your coach is gonna give you all of your workouts. It does sync up with an Apple Watch. If you have one, you don't need one by any means, but if you do have an Apple Watch, it will sync with you. It tells me in the middle of my squats or rows or whatever I'm doing, I'll hear in Up my coach's voice if I need to slow stretch. down or go higher at the top or various little tips during the workout, which is nice. Her voice will tell me what workout's coming up next. It's gonna give you a full preview of what the exercise looks like on your app while you're in your rest periods and everything and everything's gonna be there you're gonna know the whole week if I want to change it up for the next week I'll tell Megan and she'll give me a new workout for the next week in the trainwell app your trainer will work with whatever equipment you have if you don't have any equipment whatsoever and you just need to do bodyweight exercises they'll make you a plan for that I have a gym with some decent equipment so Megan makes all of my plans over what I have available in the gym and then if I go to the big gym sometimes we'll swap out an exercise for something that the big gym has for fun it is nice that everything is 
is based on what I physically have with me. So however you feel like doing your plan, your coach will make it for you. Whatever, whatever you got, you know, this is for you, just for you. But I love already having the workout set in stone, ready to go. I know when I'm running, I know when I'm doing yoga, I know when I'm gonna lift and I go in with a plan and then my brain has to do so much less work because it's just like, no, this is what we're doing. And we execute, okay? All the extra mental load of planning and blah, 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 figuring it out. No, you just execute and that's it and then you're done. Logged, brilliant, we love it. Tip number three, gamify your life. Games give you dopamine. Executing things, checking things off, getting a little sticker after you achieve something, it's dopamine. We thrive on it. The human brain is craving it all day long every day. In train well, I swear the reason I do not miss my workouts, besides not wanting to ever disappoint my sweet Megan, my streak. I got a 210 day streak right now, or 11, 211, I don't know. I think I'm on 210. Nothing in this world will make me break that streak. It is a part of me now. I will continue it until the ends of the earth. <laughs> I love me a streak. I find having something like a streak, it really gets the momentum going. You don't want to break the momentum once you start and things like that just really amplify the whole experience. Highly recommend. I love how Trainwell integrates that in. I'm a big fan of the streak. Tip number four, track your progress. There are many ways to track. I know a lot of people don't resonate with the scale, which I think is completely valid. I personally track my progress. I do use weight. Um, I'll do my measurements once a week, confidence and energy levels. I think those are very helpful, particularly with my cycle. I notice that my confidence is a little lower when I'm luteal. My confidence is much higher when I'm ovulating. That is pretty natural, I think, but it's nice when I log it and then I look at my cycle, I'm like, oh. Why? That makes sense. So tracking things like that helps me keep up with where I'm at. I find that weight itself, it's not a goal of mine to just lose weight personally. I want to like my shape more, gain muscle, gain a lot of endurance and flexibility, things like that. But tracking everything along the way just helps me. That's why I like doing measurements, progress photos. Progress photos are a huge thing, especially if you wear the same fit every time you're throwing in your progress photos. It's nice to see how you can change over time, how your body will change over time. Overall, I kind of just like it when my clothes fit a little nicer. For me personally, my own goals, I just kind of want the things I have to fit a little better. Get the booty a little juicier, waist snatched. We all just working on feeling hot, feeling confident, feeling good in our own skin. Tracking your progress, it's super easy within the Trainwell app. It literally tracks all those things for me. All my progress photos, keeps track of your measurements, where your changes are, and you can add extra metrics in there or take metrics away. Whatever you feel comfortable keeping track of, the app is going to do it just for you, which I really enjoy that customer ability of it because not every Everyone wants to track the same things. Our final tip, tip number five. This is creating your habits outside of fitness because we love fitness. That is a great part of our life, but there are other things that will make, first of all, improve our fitness journey. And second of all, just improve our overall self-love, self journey, healing self. We're working on our mental as well. So creating habits such as journaling and meditation. I find those two in particular really help me set intentions for the day. I wake up with a plan, a little less hot mess express go with the flow a little more. I have somewhat of a plan for the day. I find creating habits like that, throw in drinking your water, eating vegetables, eating more at home and not out and about, getting outside to take fresh air in every day, creating your habits outside of fitness that are not just getting in your workouts, I think are essential to an overall well-being. Spending a few minutes outside, meditating, being one with nature, going on your hot girl walks. These are all great, amazing habits. You don't have to do all of them, but adding in one here and there will build you up overall to an overall more balanced kind of mental and physical healthy healthy lifestyle. Also I find when I journal and I have, I'll put down my thoughts for the day, how I'm feeling, etc. And then also like kind of what my intentions are for the day, like how am I going to tackle this day and conquer it. And if I have my intentions written down, I'm much more likely to navigate my time better and to have more time to quote unquote waste at the end of the day or have fun with, or just watch some Netflix or play a game with my friends or do whatever it may be. I find when you plan the day and you have intentions you can tick off those things that you kind of wanted to get done and accomplish and conquer and then you have more free time because you didn't procrastinate all day. This is still a learning process for me. Remember I said these tips are for me as much as they're for you, but I do love adding in things like that for my own sanity. 
What I do love about the Trainwell app is that you can add any habit that you want to. You toss it over to your coach, let them know this is something that I would like to add as a daily habit that I'm going to incorporate into my life now. And they will pop it on there and then it's just a very satisfying little thing on your daily checklist. And when you're done, you can swipe it up, which is just a little another dopamine hit that we all love. That's another amazing addition because you have a lot of other things that you can incorporate in besides your lifting workouts, your runs, your hot girl walks, your yoga, your meditation and journaling, whatever it is, you can throw it in. You can toss it in your app. It's kind of inclusive of all the good stuff. We love that. Those are my five summer tips for summer love, summer self-care, summer love yourself, keep on track with your goals, but enjoy and live your life. You know what I'm saying? If you would like to check out Train Well, you can click on my link down in the description box below and you will get 14 days free with a trainer if you use that link. So if you want to give it a try, why not? Why not give it a go? I feel like you'll love it. Either way, thank you so much to Train Well for sponsoring sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so, so much. I will see you in the next video. Ta-ta for now. Goodbye.